So today we're going to a job that I'm not sure they're gonna let me record. I hope they do. Otherwise, I'm gonna have, you're never gonna see this. But they have they have a, a five ton system installed there. The furnace is fairly new. It's a Goodman. It's a GMS A. I believe it's a 100,000 BTUs, five ton. The problem that they're having is that their AC doesn't work because, I don't know, somebody pulled out the compressor, maybe they were gonna fix it and they never fixed it. For whatever reason, they don't have the compressor. Uh, I know it's not theft because if they would've stolen anything, they would've stolen the coil, not the compressor. The compressor is worthless for scrapping. So we have to replace the AC and we have to use that existing furnace. So we have a five ton furnace and we're gonna have to put, I can't put a five ton condenser and coil because that's, they don't have enough return. So they don't have enough airflow. Um, and I already measured the house and the house would be fine um, with a four ton system. The four ton system is actually a little bigger than what they actually need. I think they put a five ton to try to push more air, but the problem is not enough return. Not that the unit is too small, the problem is not enough return. Today, uh, I'll see if they let me record. If they do, I'll show you where the condenser is, and I'll show you where the evaporator coil is, and where I'm gonna put the new evaporator coil. And we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, it's it'll be a good video, I don't know. Hope you guys uh, continue to watch my videos too. Did let us record so I'm gonna show you this is the den this is where our evaporator coil is so our evaporator coil is right here I'm gonna show you where the furnace is this is our new coil here's our furnace and uh, here's our Goodman furnace. That's our return, right there. See how reduced the return is? Let's see how much we can improve this system. Since we're pretty limited in what we can do, so.
So here's our furnace. Here's our gas. We installed the safety overflow switch. And then my union that I always put to clean out the drains. Condensate pump. Um, here's our copper. Reconnected the vent pipe. Here's our, our custom transition plenum. <laughs> And uh, we went ahead and did this to the return. I don't know if you remember how it was. Here's our filter now. We hard piped the gas pipe out. It was inside before. And uh, we'll show you what's going on on the other side. raised our copper through here put a strap right there this is where our supply trunk comes in and then I made a box here to transition from this round into that old existing plenum here is our copper again And here's our drain. It's getting pumped to here. And then it goes underneath there.